Oh, hey there, welcome to the Axie Expert. I'm your expert, Dan Danolsky with IWA.com. Actually, this is for YouTube uh, and maybe TikTok. I don't know, I got a TikTok now. It's the Dan Danolsky to TikTok.com. Uh, my son set it up. That's the website, TikTok. And I go on there and I do 20 minute videos. That doesn't sound right. Anyway, today's question. What size air conditioner do I need? Okay, I like to call this the Goldilocks solution. Uh, after Abraham Goldilocks, a famous mathematician. No, I'm kidding. It's the Goldilocks story. You know what the story is. The three bears, and there's a breaking and entering, and Goldilocks uh, eats their food, later is arrested by the San Francisco Police Department. So, okay, so Goldilocks solution for your heat and air. You want a unit that's not too big and not too small. You want a unit that's just right, like porridge, right? Because if the unit's too big, uh, it might not run long enough. You're thinking, why Why would it be a problem if it doesn't run long? That's good, right? No, it's actually bad. Uh, because you want it to dehumidify properly and uh, if it's not running for the amount of time it needs to, that won't work. Too small, of course, that's kind of kind of obvious, right? If it's too small, it's not gonna cool what it should. So you want one that's just right. How do you figure, how do you figure that out? You get a manual J load calculation performed by a local expert. They'll come out, they'll do some calculations. They'll say, this is what you need. Simple. Okay, bye. Oh, hey, do you have questions about how big your air conditioner should be? Just ask in the comments below and I'll tell you exactly what it is, psychically. No, I won't. I'll tell you to get a heat load calculation. Okay, bye.